and welcome to another episode of Health, Wealth, and Happiness. If it makes you healthy, wealthy, or happy, you will find it here on Health, Wealth, and Happiness. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Jennifer Coe, and today we're talking about breakthrough medicine. We have with us Dr. Shada Sina, and she is absolutely amazing. We're going to have to squish it all in. There's so much to talk about. If you go to their website, breakthrough-medicine.com, you're going to find all kinds of information there about doctor and about all the things that she does there and the things that are available at her clinic and everything that's going on. If you want to give them a call, 928-649-0269. Doctor, thank you for being here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Oh, it's, I'm so happy to talk about you. You're absolutely amazing. So we've got to jump right into it because we have so much to talk about. So let's talk about how you became a naturopath. Oh, you know, I came from a long line of medicine. My father was a doctor and his father was a uh, military surgeon. Mm. And recently I found out that my uh, grandmother, and I thought I was the very first doctor that was a female in my line, uh, found out my grandmother was a midwife. Wow. And so it goes on and on from generation to generation. And I think uh, I fell in love with medicine when I was young at six. Hmm. My father gave me my first microscope. Oh. And he's a clinical pathologist of very famous stock. Hmm. Uh, but the transition for me was really hard because I was special ed. I couldn't read. And I wasn't diagnosed until I was actually in college. Mm. It was in high school when, uh, you know, I was pretty illiterate, where a Catholic uh, nun actually figured out that I had severe processing disabilities and dyslexia. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it was pretty much a miracle I became a doctor. Mm. But I loved medicine so much that I became hyper-focused and... uh, made it my life and my career and I have like a dream life that most people can't imagine. Mm -hmm. I practice uh, alternative, integrative, functional medicine focused on treating the root cause of illness, Mm -hmm. which is very unique and it is part of the philosophy of naturopathic medicine. I wanted to become a clinical pathologist, but when I was working in the labs at Maryland, it was infectious disease. I was watching all these kids die because there was actually really no treatment for HIV at the time. Mm -hmm. And I discovered what was naturopathy when I was applying to medical school. And someone read out what was a naturopath making fun of it. And I thought, wow, maybe this might be for me. So that's kind of how I ended up getting started in naturopathic medicine. Well, certainly. And what are the, what's the major difference between naturopathic medicine and conventional medicine? Well, going back to the root cause mm-hmm. and looking at why people are actually getting ill or what is causing the symptoms rather than just treating the symptoms. Mm-hmm. And then using means to treat the person through natural therapies like diet, exercise, Mm -hmm. meditation, uh, supplementation, Mm -hmm. herbs. So, you know, supplementation should be just as it says, an adjunct to a healthy lifestyle. Certainly, certainly. Uh, And basically, when I went to naturopathic school, it was a long time ago, it was over over 20 years ago. I was a scientist for 15 years. So that really gave me a a great integrative background, meaning that I can blend both allopathic, which is traditional medicine, with naturopathic medicine. Mm -hmm. So I worked in every clinical lab, so it trained me in a different way than most naturopaths. Mm -hmm. When I got to uh, naturopathic school, they were teaching eclectic medicine at the time, which basically meant that your first two years of medical school is identical to traditional MD and DO school, which is like clinical pathology, anatomy, physiology, all your ologies like dermatology, gastroenterology. Uh, Within those paradigms of like uh, areas of medicine, you would learn like what allopathic treatments are, like the antibiotics, Mm -hmm. the surgeries, the traditional, and then you would also learn the alternative. Mm. And then through that spectrum of medicine and being taught medicine, Back in the old days, it's not taught this way. 
you would get 200 hours of each discipline of alternative medicine, mm. which would be acupuncture, 200 hours of Chinese medicine, which right. is 200 hours of physical medicine, which would be manipulation, adjustments, ultrasound, different technologies for physical medicine, uh, herbal medicine, nutritional uh, medicine, uh, mind-body. Hmm. We would have what we would call an eclectic background, and then right. uh, after you get out of school, you pretty much focus on your areas that you want to work on mm -hmm. and be a specialist or be a family practice doctor. Well, certainly. And I know that, that this became close to you in your personal experience as far as environmental medicine goes and as far as natural medicines go, that that brought forth your passion. Mm -hmm. into yeah, helping. environmental medicine was an elective in, mm -hmm. in medical school. And at the time, I was uh, seven months pregnant. And when, when Dr. Crinion, who was one of my mentors, um, began to speak about the environmental burden and how important it is to prepare the body for childbirth mm -hmm. and all the environmental toxins that you're exposed to, I was so floored. I had to walk out of, mm. out of lecture, and I weeped for probably a half an hour thinking, of all my exposures I had, because I grew up on a farm, mm -hmm. we had DDT. Mm -hmm. I, I was a very sick kid. Mm. I had antibiotics, more antibiotics than most kids probably. Mm. And because I would now describe myself as a spectrum, and it was probably neurotoxicity from all the chemicals mm -hmm. and heavy metals. Sure. I was born two months premature. My my twin died mm. in utero and my mom was given DES, which is a hormone mm. that makes, um, that they did in the old days, mm -hmm. which downstream can put you at risk for not only breast cancer, ovarian cancer, losing organs. Mm. I was a pretty sick kid. Mm. So as I was listening to all these lectures, I realized I can't even begin to detox because I'm pregnant now. Right, yeah. And I was, looking at two years of nursing, so that put me mm. back, right. you know, to, I, you know, and then I was, I was traumatized, and then when I got sick after medical school, I graduated, I did great, mm -hmm. and I began practicing with my uh, former husband, who I still practice with, Dr. John Dye, he was uh, one of the professors at Southwest College, and we specialized in Lou Gehrig's disease. Mm. I learned a lot. And mm. it, after taking multiple histories of ALS patients, mm -hmm. I knew that I had to go back and do the environmental medicine program with Dr. Crinion, mm -hmm. which at that time I had an exposure to toxic mold. Mm -hmm. During that time, you know, mm -hmm. I was practicing and carbon monoxide poisoning. I wow. was really sick at that point. Wow. And I was finally weaned my daughter so I could begin detoxing. I presented my case and he didn't know it, but at the time all my classmates did hmm. uh, because it's a small community. Sure. And they realized, wow, I'm as, as toxic and sick as some of the ALS patients. Wow. So it was through my own health that mm -hmm. I kind of, I like the term biohack, that's yeah. a Dave Asbury term, I, <laughs> I, I like that, um, really, altered the course of my health. And wow. I, I think had I not really done that, I probably would have, I probably wouldn't be here. I probably have cancer or some form of right. chronic illness. Certainly. And this is the healthiest I've ever been. When I was wow. a kid, I couldn't even run around uh, the uh, gym mm -hmm. uh, at all. I was so sick. Mm. Now I practice hot yoga. Nice. I have a very vibrant, physical activity life, and wonderful. this is the healthiest I've ever been. Oh, that's wonderful. Naturopathy saved my life. Oh, that's wonderful. Now you get to share it with yeah, everybody I'm else. Yeah, I'm really passionate about it, and I, I love what I do. I can see that. That's yeah. great. Go to Breakthrough-Medicine.com. That's the website you're going to go to for Dr. Sheva at Breakthrough Medicine. Check her out there, Breakthrough-Medicine.com. We've got to take a short break, but we'll be right back with more health, wealth, and happiness, so don't go away. Regrow, 
Repair Replace. Regenerative medicine is the process of creating living, functional tissues to repair or replace tissue or organ function lost due to age, disease, damage, or congenital defects. Dr. Forrest Lanchbury and the team at Sedona Regenerative Medicine specialize in finding relief for patients suffering from chronic pain. Contact Sedona Regenerative Medicine to learn about anti-aging medicines that will help your body heal itself. 928-282-2520 or SedonaRegen.com. Award-winning Soundbites Grill is an entertainment restaurant located in Uptown Sedona at the Hyatt Pinion Point Resort. Open for lunch and dinner, featuring fresh fish, all-natural hand-cut beef, even a full vegan menu. Family-friendly, open 11.30 to 9, late dining on Friday and Saturday. Soundbites Grill has some of the best views of the Sedona Red Rocks. Offers world-class entertainment, food, fun, and music. Two things we can count on every year. A new set of tax rules and great weather here in northern Arizona. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, locally owned and operated by Lewis Rice since 1997, is here for you all year long. Your neighborhood Jackson Hewitt Tax Office will help you in all of your taxing situations. Electronic filing is always free with your tax preparation at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. Get more in return. Call 1-800-234-1040 for an office near you. Show your customers how much they matter to you. Follow up with a real card in just 60 seconds with Send Out Cards. Send Out Cards makes it easy for busy professionals to leave a memorable impression. Stay in touch with a simple one-step process from your phone or computer to their mailbox. Call Judy today at 928-202-2557. That's 928-202-2557. Breakthrough Medicine's Dr. Shada Sina offers comprehensive hormone testing and customized hormone therapy with a focus on lifestyle medicine, weight loss, allergy drops, brain and digestive health, seasonal detox, and nutrition. Dr. Sina is a referral physician for Suzanne Summers, specializing in bioidentical hormones for men and women. Breakthrough Medicine is located in Cottonwood's Hot Yoga Plaza. Call for a 15-minute complimentary new patient consultation, 928-649-0269, or visit online at Breakthrough-Medicine.com. Welcome back to Health, Wealth, and Happiness. We're here with Dr. Shada Sina. She's from Breakthrough Medicine. Go to Breakthrough-Medicine.com. That's the website, lots of good stuff there, or give them a call if you'd like, 928-649-0269. So we've got your background. It's absolutely amazing, your life story is incredible and how you're here and you're the most vibrant you've ever been. And thanks to you know the medicine that you've practiced and now that you're sharing it with others, you've been in Cottonwood since 2003. That, that's, yeah. quite, that's quite a thing. Yes, I took over Dr. Boyer Cole's practice next to Mount Hope. Mm -hmm. That was my practice for many years and that's when I was pretty much primary care as a naturopath and then I was doing a lot of anti-aging for myself mm -hmm. as part of my self-care mm -hmm. and uh, word got out and I started getting interviewed by um, various different people but Suzanne Summers was one of them. Mm. She ended up putting me in her book Breakthrough Eight Steps to Wellness as a referral physician and it changed my primary care practice into a anti-aging practice mm -hmm. where the focus is uh, alternative, bioidentical, mm -hmm. rather than synthetic hormones. Right. So I specialize in anti-aging and uh, preventative medicine, and mm -hmm. this basically drew people from all over the country, not just the state of Arizona. There were only two people mentioned in her book mm. for Arizona. And then she put me in her knocked out book, which was her cancer book. So then I had patients coming to see me for cancer support mm -hmm. all over. And bioidenticals are quite amazing. And I, that is really my passion is doing hormone therapy. and fixing endocrine problems mm -hmm. like adrenal fatigue, thyroid dysfunction. Then I, soon after that, I guess it was a couple years later, I was put uh, as a referral physician for Isabella Wentz, which is, she specializes in Hashimoto's. Mm -hmm. She's a pharmacist. I, uh, I love doing endocrinology, but what I found is that if you have toxicity your endocrine system does not work as well. Mm -hmm. So that's how I 
you know, over the years, we didn't have, like 20 years, 30 years ago, the environmental burden we currently have. Mm -hmm. We now know that, you know, these endocrine disruptors, which are chemicals and heavy metals that aren't supposed to be in our body, are changing how our hormones and our enzymes are working. And mm -hmm. this is making a lot of people sick. Mm -hmm. We have estimated 20% of women have PCOS, that's polycystic ovary. Mm -hmm. That's, um, they don't always have to have cysts, but this is the major reason of infertility in our country right now. Mm. The problem with that is when we have a metabolic problem like um, polycystic ovary, it is affecting their brains. Mm. And so this is where I got into uh, cognitive support and brain medicine because when you start to see people having high blood sugars and these blood sugars are dictating how our brain functions mm -hmm. and it can cause cognitive issues at even younger ages so what I see coming into my practice is younger and younger people not just having infertility mm -hmm. but saying I have brain fog mm -hmm. and then they have irregular periods they have and the metriosis. So I do treat a lot of female issues and mm -hmm. I do gynecology in my practice. Mm -hmm. I, I always take an environmental history now with every single patient mm -hmm. along with doing a general history. And I find that I get my patients better because I'm getting to the root causes of why they're having hormone problems. Mm -hmm. So this has really been a blessing to in, to take my experience and learn more and blend the two areas mm -hmm. of endocrinology and environmental medicine. Absolutely, that's a sign of an excellent practitioner where you can yeah. take not only your personal experience but the, your medical history that you've learned up to so far and keep growing and keep adding and keep learning, oh, well, here's another piece of the puzzle, I'm gonna add this, <laughs> and then your patients just benefit. You know, but yeah. you see everyone. I know women's health is a, is a big part of your practice. Yeah. But that's I do your pediatrics job. as mm -hmm. well. I'm, I don't consider myself a pediatrician, but I do mm -hmm. consults on them. Excellent. So our area, what we're seeing is m much more obesity, mm. and the diets are partly to blame. But environmental toxicity is. We yeah. now have. We now know that heavy metals are obesogens mm. and diabetogens. Mm. And in the old days, they wow. used to actually test lead in kids. They don't do that, I think, standard of care anymore. And it should be done, especially in our Birdie Valley area. Certainly. We, when you take a look at um, what's been happening uh, environmentally uh, with lead and copper and arsenic in the soil, mm -hmm. We're testing the soil, but we're not testing our children and our adults, and that actually really needs to happen because these endocrine disruptors are not just affecting the weight, they are carcinogens. Mm -hmm. They are right. one of the major reasons why people are getting cancer. Yeah, that's true. So that's where looking and doing seasonal detox is really important. Mm -hmm. I usually like to tell patients that they, they should do cleanses periodically and cleanses can be intense for some people and that's why it's really important to have a doctor who knows what they're doing mm -hmm. to support them. Right. This, was, this was one of the reasons why after I started doing hot yoga, I became a hot yoga instructor after I fell in love with hot yoga. Mm -hmm. I was kind of debilitated for a while. I was in a knee brace because I could never seem to get my knee to a point and I had done everything, injections, natural injections. Mm. I had done regular yoga. I started doing hot yoga and uh, I was wearing my knee brace, did it for almost five months and forgot my knee brace. And then I, I was gonna leave and Jennifer who owns uh, Cottonwood and Sedona Hot Yoga said, don't leave. I did not dislocate and that was the first time I did not dislocate. Mm. It healed my knee mm. and I realized that this is such a powerful tool because we're detoxifying, because I do far infrared. Mm. We, that's one of our ways that we detox our patients mm -hmm. is infrared sauna. Mm -hmm. And we can change 
toxicity by twisting the body and doing yoga in heat mm -hmm. and hydrating appropriately, mm -hmm. you're moving environmental toxins. Yes. So after I did hot yoga teacher training with her the first time, she said to me, have you ever thought about marrying naturopathy with yoga? Hmm. And I thought, this is brilliant. And then that's how I ended up moving my practice to Cottonwood Hot Yoga. Right. Yeah, it's a great location there. It is a great yeah, location. We have an organic kitchen yep. that's vegan. And so it makes it easy to help um, create a great detox program. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And what I love about you as well is you're so well-rounded because in your your practice, you also can do testing. Like you can test these things. It's not just, oh, I think you have. It's let's do all these tests. You have alternative lab testing or you can test leaky gut, thyroid, adrenal hormones, urinary organic acid testing. Who's heard of that? I haven't heard of that one yet. <laughs> Cardiovascular panels, functional nutrition testing, bone reabsorption, bone loss, neurotransmitter testing, all kinds of testing you can do there. Yeah, I because of my lab medicine background, I worked in almost every clinical lab there is. And then I taught lab medicine and I actually was the um, one of the writers for our national boards for alternative labs. That's very impressive. So I love lab medicine and I think that it can really help direct and fine tune and personalize treatment. Mm -hmm. the, the newest and hottest area is, is nutrigenomics, which mm -hmm. is basically learning where your gene polymorphisms are wow. and actually spe you know, specifically uh, treating those polymorphisms. Wow, that's and, fantastic. Yeah, so there is ways to do it, and it's really important because, like for me, I am a pathological detoxifier, mm. and, and when you look at the nutrigenomics of a person like my pathway, mm. I could not detox normally, so that's one of the reasons why I did sauna. Oh, sauna sure. is a passive way to detox. Oh, that's amazing. And so when you know, the, know a person's problems, you can actually put specific nutrients, uh, vitamins on board to help support yes. those pathways. It's about knowing where yeah, those holes and those, are, and those And that's important are. too, especially when it comes to hormones, because you have to detox everything you put in your body, including your hormones. That's true. And some people are actually pathological detoxifiers wow. of estrogen. That's one of the reasons why we're seeing so much hmm. Uh, hormonal related cancers. Wow. Well, if you want more information, you definitely want to go to breakthrough-medicine.com or give Dr. Shada Sina a call at 928-649-0269. We'll take a quick break, but we'll be right back, so don't go away. Been hearing about the crazy benefits of CBD? Find out how CBD can help you at Sedona's number one resource, CBD Sedona. Come in for a free consultation and let our trained medical staff help you find the perfect product for you. Pain relieving salves, full spectrum oils, honeys, teas, cookies, and even CBD for pets. Ready to feel fantastic? Come on by CBD Sedona today. Parents, you know as well as I do, there's nothing more important than your children. Don't you love to look in their eyes and see the love? Make sure they can see that love in your eyes by having their eyes examined. You can't tell how well your kids see, but Dr. Houston at Camp Verde Eye Care certainly can. Call 567-3330 to make an appointment. You'll be glad you did. Camp Verde Eye Care at 567-3330. They really do care. Northern Arizona Thermal Imaging uses a state-of-the-art medical digital camera to take a picture and create a map of the body's infrared patterns, later interpreted by an MD specially trained in reading thermography. Northern Arizona Thermal Imaging is the leading medical imaging and proactive healthcare, detecting early danger signs years before other tools, finding early breast disease up to eight years before mammography may detect it. Schedule a scan with Carol today. Northern Arizona Thermal Imaging. Say yes to thermography. Metaphysics, what does it mean? It's a branch of philosophy, literally beyond the science of matter. Sedona's University of Metaphysics studies the ultimate nature of existence, reality, and experience. Join 14,000 graduates in over 120 countries, helping others in counseling, coaching, ministry, and much more. The University of Metaphysics is here to serve the best in you, so you can serve the best in others. UniversityofMetaphysics.com 
Start your journey toward better health with Ageless Touches Massage Therapy. Licensed massage therapist Richard Stevens uses the latest and best equipment to relieve scar tissue, electronic smog, and tinnitus. Ageless Touches does everything they can to work your issues down to the bone. Improve your path to better health with Ageless Touches Massage. Solid Rock Fitness is a one-on-one -on -one fitness studio specializing in fitness over 50. I train older adults of all fitness levels, from athletes and avid sports participants, to folks with chronic pain, to those recovering from surgeries. You and I will focus on strength training to improve overall muscle tone, core conditioning, balance, agility, flexibility, and nutrition. Mastery of these components of fitness will help you live your life to the fullest with confidence and competence. And welcome back. We're talking with Dr. Shada Sina. She's from Breakthrough Medicine. Go to breakthrough-medicine.com. We've given you the rundown of, of almost everything she does. There's so much going on in your office. It's incredible. It sounds like a, a one-stop shop for everything you actually really need. You know, you can go to the, the conventional guy down the street, you know, and say, hey, I've got this. And he goes, oh, you got a headache? Take ibuprofen. You got a tummy ache? Take Tums. That's not how it should work. That's, that's <laughs> band-aiding. The, the issue and not what is so causing the problem. Whereas all your different modalities, everything that you do in your office, you can find out whether it's testing for something like heavy metals, whether it's checking thyroid, whether it's environmental detox, or hey, how about hot yoga? Or let's talk about you do other things, thermal imaging uh, as well. Yeah, I started Carol Conti in thermal imaging up here. I was introduced to it by a naturopathic oncologist, and it's a great way for me to follow my patients and actually screen for cancers mm -hmm. or inflammation of the brain. So that's one of the things that I love about thermals is I'll look and see if there's if someone's head is hot mm -hmm. and if their mouth is hot and if I can see if their gut is hot and then we focus on those areas of it'll help me fine-tune which test to order as mm -hmm. well. I um, love brain medicine and that's um, part of my mom ended up having Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and so uh, I think you know, being a naturopath, prevention is so important. We can present, we can prevent many of these cognitive issues. So this is where, you know, doing a healthy diet, like we had just talked on break, mm -hmm. keto, keto diet, which is also considered an anti-cancer diet, we change what our fuel is for the brain. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to come off the keto occasionally and know how to cycle it. Mm -hmm. There's tricks to manipulating your chemistry in your body. Certainly. And one of the most important aspects of, of, of dietary changes is actually uh, intermittent fasting, because mm -hmm. that's where you would develop stem cells. Right. And this is um, uh, how I ended up collaborating with Sedona Regenerative and Dr. Forrest Lanchbury. Mm -hmm. So I like to prep my patients because some of them will get stem cell for regenerative medicine. Mm -hmm. I focus on the hormones, so we do all forms of hormones from transdermal to sublingual to pellets. I offer all forms to all our patients. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that hormonally they're doing well, nutritionally they're doing well. You need to take care of the infections, and you can see the infections mm. in thermal. Certainly. It'll light up. Yeah. And you, because that's going to affect brain, especially if you have an infection in the mouth, and, right. or if you've got something like Lyme, or you've got mm -hmm. another f kind of um, stealth well, infection. Certainly. Oh my gosh, there's so, so much to think about. So that's this. where our, our practices kind of blend, mm -hmm. and um, we are collaborating, um, Dr. Nice. Dye, Dr. Lanchberry, and I collaborate with these pa um, patients well, to create wonderful. a team. And Carol all also does thermals on them. Well, it's that's great. So yeah. it's a team. I love that. If you go to breakthrough-medicine.com, you'll find out lots more information. If you want to get involved or give them a call, 928-649-0269. Doctor, thank you for being here. Appreciate it you It was much. a pleasure. Thank we'll you. We'll see you again next time on Health, Wealth, and Happiness.